good afternoon. St. Patrick's Day. Oh. It's so cold right now. I just don't know what to do. I'm that dickhead as well who wears a huge jacket with shorts. But that's because it's leg day. And it's the first one back. Just arrived at the gym. I'm actually a little bit like scared to get out the car. It's so fucking cold. I made a stupid decision. I should have put leggings on. Awkward. But this is just a light leg day. This isn't going to be a massive. I'm not going to go wild. We're just going to get the fundamental movements out of the way. Squats, lunges, possibly leg press or hack squat, extensions, curls, and calves. Never forget calves. And then that's set. I'm going to be done. And I'm going to go out tonight because it's St. Patrick's Day. And I do need to get drunk once in a while. So, yeah. So, up next, the workout. All right, so what we have here is squats, barbell squats, 100 kilos, five reps, doing five by five, and getting deep, but trying to control that time tension. I need to kick as much muscle fiber to my brain as possible. And that's what I'm doing right here. Up next on quads, we've got superset, leg extensions, hold and squeeze at the top, one second on the top, two, three seconds on the way down. Like I say again, I'm trying to create as much muscle fiber connection as possible. 10 reps, and then supersetting this with close leg press. Close foot leg press, focus on quad tension, time the tension as well. In and out, try not to fully extend the point where we lock out our legs. Just up and down, controlling it as a way down. Most bad connection. On to our next superset, which would be lion leg curls and walking lunges. Walking lunges set to 16, just 12 dumbbells, not trying to go overly heavy, trying to control that way down as much as possible, get it stretched in the back leg. The further we stride on walking lunges, the better extension of that back hip you get, gives you a little bit more mobility in the long run, and it makes you cover further distance as well. Yeah. I know what you're saying about these bad boys. Just got them today. You know one of those must haves? You know one of those must haves? I was in TK Maxx. If you're English, you'll know it. It's a main store, but it's a one, one hit wonder. But I actually came across these the other day, like a couple of weeks ago. My girlfriend said that I couldn't get them. I said, You've got a pair of shoes that you're not allowed them. Well, I dumped them. That bitch dumped me now, so I can have whatever I want. <laughs> They're pretty sick, though, all of them. Pumas, Puma baskets. Hit them up. Quite cheap, so we get max deals, bro. Finishing off with calves and uh, superset leg press calf raise 12 reps heavy, just uncontrolled, and then supersetting them with a standing leg press on the side of the treadmill, just free weight, body weight, rep out. Don't let anyone, smaller cast than you, tell you how to grow your cats. 
so you all may as well switch off now because I've decided to cast my world. Okay, that concludes today's leg workout. That was pretty easy, another easy one, I'm pretty rocking again. I did all those sessions, I did my GPC sessions to get the full body recovered again. But now I'm back on smells. Oh, done. Leg day done. Yeah, like I said earlier, just like I'm back on my normal split now, which is uh, push pull legs, boxing and spinning. Pretty cool. Trying to get lean, that's the goal. I've lost a lot of muscle mass. You'll see from my leg picture now to what I used to be. It's fucking disgraceful. But I'm not too fussed, I like, I like I like being able to fit in the skinny jeans again. I like not having to fucking worry about chafing. Although I miss it a little bit. Save money on talc. Yeah, they're nowhere near what they used to be. Probably skinny now. But I want them to get, I'm just gonna get lean, get them leaner. Start packing on some muscle later on. But now I, 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 I'll en I enjoy life more, not having to rely on a bodybuilding lifestyle because it's not sustainable it's not real life all these guys you see on instagram and you know twitter facebook whatever youtube they're all absolutely shredded all year round they're huge it's the life you know it's not sustainable it's not it's not real well it's real but it's not you know i won't catch them at your uncle's christening <laughs> uncle's baby your cousin's christening you get what i mean but it's not sustainable now. You want to have a life. I'm 20 years old. I want to have a life. Not be tied down by bodybuilding. So yeah, that's my. Bro I'm back on the split of push pull legs. I'm quite. I'm gonna. I enjoy that one anyway. I enjoy it. It's the best one you can do. Still loads of science behind it. Just like there is German body comp. But German body comp takes over your life as well. That's disgraceful. It's awful to train with because it's so hard. It's so high intense. This one, you know, you can get a good pump. You can enjoy yourself. Hit new PBs every week if you like. And you can still make gains or make shreds. So, back on that. And yeah, that's it. That's that's that's, it. that's how it's going now. Yeah. Post workout nutrition: chicken stir fry. Got greens in there. Carbs. Post workout carbs. Protein. Chicken. Peppers. Damn. I think this is. Teriyaki instead of fried ginger sauce. Booyah! Yeah. What have we got here? Looks like I'm ready to go out. Got my peanut on. New jeans, last got tap. I'm ready. So that's me done. St. Patrick's Day, about to head out with the boys and see y'all later. Smash the like button, subscribe, bye.